everybody welcome back to my channel today I am going to be doing a little interesting test I am going to compare shooting with my Canon 5D Mark IV versus the iPhone X so I obviously know that they don't really compare you know the quality on the Canon is always going to be better but um, I've noticed shooting behind the scenes there are certain things that the um, iPhone phone seems to be performing better with so I'm going to have a little look, a little comparison. Um, as I said, I know it's going to be a little fun test. It's not really serious. So there are a few things I wanted to test out with the iPhone. I wanted to test out direct sunlight versus shade. I wanted to test out movement in both situations. I wanted to test out the portrait mode versus um, the normal mode because I know that iPhones usually perform quite well when the light is beneficial. So first test I wanted to do was shooting in the direct sunlight. I used the portrait mode and regular mode on my iPhone just to test it out and see how it looks because I know the colors are usually quite good when shooting in their direct sunlight. And then I shot with the Canon. I tried to imitate the two settings. So I shot on a wider aperture at the beginning and then I went to a slightly bit closer crop for the second part. In the second part of the direct sunlight, I wanted to see how the iPhone manages with some movement. So I got the model to wave the dress around a tiny bit and see if the iPhone will be able to capture it. What I found the most was that it did the job, but it was quite slow. And when I was trying to take the photos in the sequence and take a bunch of them at one time, um, it was lagging a bit and it was kind of slow. Next, I wanted to test it out in the shade because I know that once the light isn't as perfect straight into the camera, um, the phone can be a bit um, slow and it might not be as great. So I took some photos of the model just standing around and as you see yourself, it wasn't bad, but um, it had its limitations. The contrast and everything else wasn't definitely as good as in the direct sunlight. Once we had the test done, we thought that it would be nice to actually go into the beach and test out the phone there as well. It was getting quite late. It was around 11 o'clock in the afternoon, which means the sun was getting quite harsh and quite high in the sky. So I wanted to see how would the phone manage with the light balance, with the brightness and shadows and so on. One thing that I noticed when shooting in the direct sun when it comes to shooting with the phone was that we get some really, really nice strong glow on the model. We did use um, the usual body spray and I find, you know, because it's a JPEG and because it shoots JPEG, um, the colors are much more intense than the raw in the Canon. Here again I tested it out using the portrait mode and the regular mode I did the same with the camera I took some photos that were kind of uh, wider and some that were closer in general I find the portrait mode on iPhone X is quite a nice thing um, I'm not really crazy about the blurry background but it's more about the fact that you have a bit of a closer lens on it so I feel like the images look a bit better and less distorted when it comes to fashion and especially portraits I decided to repeat the test that I've done in the first part of the challenge. I shot against the sun and yet again, as you can see, the iPhone X came nowhere near to the quality of Canon. There was loads of color lost. There was this weird kind of overcast kind of look about her. And in general, it just wasn't anywhere near as good as the Canon quality. Um, the Canon image wasn't great either. I think the light was just very, very harsh, but um, in general, quality-wise, I think it was way, way better. When it comes to bokeh, I find the portrait mode was kind of similar to my 2.8 lens, which is quite good um, considering that, you know, it's a program that makes the bokeh for you, not the actual camera. Um, it is a hit and miss. Sometimes it blurs the background nicely and sometimes it just looks a bit odd or a bit weird. But still, I feel like um, it's, a, it's a good attempt. For the final test, we sat the model down behind a um, tree in the shade at the beach and we took some photos with the camera and with the iPhone. And I took the photos on the portrait mode and I feel like the bokeh was quite intense. The background was nice and blurred and the model was nice and sharp. So definitely kudos to the camera there. 
Okay guys, so I have a little challenge for you. I've edited a bunch of photos, both Canon and iPhone, using my new set of presets that I launched this week. Thank you so much for all the love. I'm really happy that you guys are enjoying them. So have a look at the images. Let me know which ones do you think are Canon and which ones do you think are iPhone and let me know why do you think so. And out of all the correct answers, I am going to pick a winner next week that is going to receive a free pack of my presets of your choice. So you can pick between Bali, Cape Town and the Fashion Lux. And the winner is going to be announced next Sunday. So best of luck and get commenting. <laughs>